What's up, everybody? Um, I'm going to be doing something a little different today. I'm going to have uh, kind of a twofer. Um, we're doing two and one. Uh, two Arrow video releases. One, uh, a fantastic 80s revenge movie, Savage Streets, Splendid Blair, and the ridiculous, uh, ridiculously outrageous uh, pervert with uh, Mary Carey. Um, the reason being that um, pretty much besides the artwork and collectible poster and booklet, there's not very much different between these uh, UK releases and the two American releases of these that have been out. Um, now on Pervert, the difference apparently is there is a new commentary. Uh, so that's one extra feature. And supposedly on Savage Streets, the commentaries are uncut. Now, supposedly on this version, the American BCI uh, Demos uh, release, I don't know if all the commentaries or just one of them apparently were cut for legal reasons. I have no idea if it's all of them. I'm guessing it's one of them. Somebody must have said something that um, I don't know what. I have no idea. And I'm probably not going to sit down and um, listen to all three twice. Um, and try to figure out what's been cut and what's not. But apparently, one or all of the commentaries on this release are uncut. So, uh, also, there is, unfortunately, no new um, featurettes uh, via High Rising Productions. Arrows go to feature kind of a feature at extras company um, on these releases, which is a real shame, and it, to me is a is a pretty big disappointment. Reasons behind that I don't know. I'm sure you guys have great reasons, but it is a bit of a letdown because the rest of the extras are all taken from the American releases. So that being said, pervert. Um, Pretty much a uh, Russ Meyer tribute in ways. Um, think if Russ Meyer and Lloyd Kaufman did a movie together. That's kind of what Pervert is. Uh, pretty much um, James um, goes out to his father's ranch to learn to become a man. Um, he's a college student and is sort of <sighs> not versed in the ways of women or being a man, I, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, his father lives on a ranch in the middle of nowhere. Uh, his father's a very weird man. He makes meat sculptures. Um, he pays women to be their, to be his girlfriend, I guess you could say, young women. Uh, Mary Carey is one of them, and um, <laughs> he's just a very interesting character. Actually, everybody in this movie is a very interesting character. It's very over the top. Um, uh, pretty much, he goes there, and uh, people start dying. There's a killer on the loose, and it's um, <laughs> we'll just say it's um, a killer you. Well, I'm not going to say I've never seen before, because who knows? I'm sure that this has been a premise in a film somewhere, but um, you haven't seen a lot of. But it's very goofy. It's very tongue-in-cheek. Um, lots of nudity. Uh, not a whole lot of gore, a little bit. Um, a lot of silly, um, off-handed jokes, off-handed sexual humor. But it's all done in a very, all the sexual stuff is very, um, it's very cheesy. So it's not like dirty, nasty. It's just very goofy, um, bad jokes, uh, bad, um, 
visual jokes also. Um, Mary Carey buttering a corn cob, and we'll just leave it at that. You can imagine how Mary Carey, her being a porn star, uh, would butter a corn cob. Um, silly stuff like that, but it's a lot of fun. If you've never seen Pervert, um, and you're in for just like kind of a very light, uh, funny, wacky movie, uh, I would say check it out. Um, so basically with this you get the fantastic artwork that Arrow is always great at. Um, and then the poster, which is exactly the same as the artwork we just saw, um, collector's booklet. And on the other side, that is the alternate artwork. Um, features wise, these are taken from the American release, um, which I used to have, but I don't have anymore, so. Um, I'm pretty sure they said that there's one thing missing from this that, that's on the American release that's not on this one. But you get uh, two audio commentaries, extended lesbian scenes, um, beyond the chasm of the hyper vixens, which is just a making of the film, um, deleted scenes, bloopers, trailers, photo gallery. So, um, like I said, if you're into really bad, off-handed sexual humor, and just in for a really weird time, check out Part Bird. Alright, on to Savage Streets. Uh, Savage Streets. Certainly one of my favorite 80s revenge exploitation films ever. Um, mostly being because the vigilante in this is a female. Normally in a revenge movie not necessarily rape revenge movie, although this is a rape revenge movie. Um, but usually the vigilante revenge films are all men. You know, um, somebody rapes his wife, uh, somebody kills his family, and he goes on a revenge killing spree. Well, in this, Miss Linda Blair has a sister who is uh, deaf. Mute. Well, not mute, but she's deaf, so she doesn't speak. Um, she is raped by a gang uh, called the Scars and almost dies. So Linda goes on a revenge spree. So it's an interesting twist on the revenge uh, film. Um, not your typical revenge movie. Usually... If it's a female going after a bunch of men, it's because she's been raped. Um, but this is a different story. I love the movie. I mean, it's 80s written all over it. The soundtrack, everything is extremely, extremely 80s. Um, really bad, cheesy lines like... I wish you had, I wish your, wish your spine was double jointed. Why? So you could bend over backwards and kiss your ass goodbye. With a crossbow. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's fucking fantastic. Um, but that all set aside. The acting is good. You do have Linnea Quigley playing. Uh, her sister, Heather, Linda Blair, uh, Robert Dreyer, who does great as the leader of the Scars. Quite a frightening character. Um, you also have John Vernon in there for a second, playing the principal. And uh, he has some fantastic lines like, Go fuck an iceberg. <laughs> it's great. Uh, seriously, if you don't like Savage Streets, I don't know. I, I really don't know what your problem is. Because <laughs> it's just fucking... It's great. Um, so again... Um, if you're into those 80s exploitation uh, revenge movies and you haven't seen Savage Streets and you don't have Savage Streets, then your collection is seriously missing a gem. Um, now, apparently in the UK, this is the first time this has been on cut, so for you guys over there, you're in for a treat. Um, again, these are all 
features from the American release. Um, you get uh, the three audio commentaries. One is with uh, star Sal Landy, uh, Robert Dreyer, and the director of photography. Uh, one with director Danny Steinman. And one with uh, producer John, John Strong, Robert Dreyer, and Johnny Vencora. And if you guys ever saw the, the uh, reality show... Uh, what was it called? It was with uh, Charles in Charge, whatever his name was. I can't remember his name. Something about him having a baby and he was nervous about it. Anyway, his best friend in the show was Johnny Vincor. Uh, and Johnny plays a sort of the, the good guy of the Scars gang, the guy that is remorseful for what he's done. Um, so you have those three, and apparently they're uncut, or one of them's uncut, I'm not sure which. Uh, an interview with Linda Blair. Uh, interview with Linnea Quigley, interview with uh, John Strong, and Johnny Vancor, Robert Dreyer, and an original trailer. Now for the artwork, you get this, which I think is fantastic. That's great. Um, again, also, poster. That's the artwork you see. Booklet. And the alternate artwork, probably taken from a VHS release somewhere. So now, um, more than likely, uh, there was a reason if you didn't have this, because this is now way out of print. This company is no longer around. This is the American two-disc release, which is actually one for a pretty penny now. Um, unless you're a collector of Savage Streets, unless you're a huge fan like I am, you would probably have wanted to get this, but apparently Code Red has uh, gotten the rights to release it here in America. Now it is Code Red, and God knows when that will be. So, um, if you can't wait, or if you're just a huge Savage Streets fan like myself, uh, you want to pick this up. So, if not, fine. Wait on the Code Red release, which could be in 30 years for all we know. Sorry. They're just slow, you know. Anyway, Pervert Savage Streets, two solid releases, once again from Arrow. Sadly, um, no new Arrow features, um, which is a big disappointment for me, but still, two solid Arrow releases. So, there you have it. See you next time.